Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this. Um, it can be a, you can make it anything you want really. Um, a scarf, you can make it a wrap, you can make it taller, a longer wrap. Um, mine's kind of, kind of a cross between a scarf and a, <clears throat> excuse me, a shorter wrap. Or you can go and make it a full, make it a big throw. It's completely up to you and the color combinations are endless. As you can tell, I went with the rainbow. But before we get into this, I just want to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel. If you look in the row, lower right hand corner, there should be a red subscribe button. If not, you can find one on my main channel page. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already, already subscribed so you don't miss out on, on any of my content. I don't just do yarn tutorials. I do lots of other yarn and just, just in general, yarn crochet. Uh, talk in general so I hope that you enjoy my channel and that you will subscribe and be a member if you're not already I do appreciate that okay so this is made with the cat stitch it's not a hard stitch actually it's quite easy to do now why it's called the cat stitch maybe you can see the little kitties in it so I'll show point them out to you so here's their paws and here's their body all right here's their eyes and up here are their two little pointy ears. Can you see that? So there's cat stitches in every row. Little kitties. But it's, I mean, it's it's super cute. And yeah, like I said, this is called the cat stitch. Now I will give you the multiple. So you can um, make it longer than mine if you want or shorter. Now mine equals approximately a 87 inches long and about 12 or 13 inches tall so if you want to make it longer for a big like for a big bed or whatever you can just make your chain and I'll give you the multiple or if you want to make it shorter maybe you want to make like an infinity cowl and you don't want it to be quite so long by all means the cat stitch is super cute and remember you don't have to use these colors any color combination would work but one thing i recommend with the cat stitch is you use at least two colors so the cats show up really well but you don't have to but that's just my recommendation so let me move this out of the way so i gave you the dimensions and showed you the kitties now let me show you the yarn that i used and let me turn this light on so you can see better so I used Premier Stitch Please, 100% Wool Chunky. So this is a five weight yarn. Now you do not have to use this yarn. In fact, you do not even have to use a uh, bulky five. You can use any weight that you want because I give you the multiple so you can make it any length that you choose. So any yarn that you have will work and any weight that you have will work as long as you have the multiple. So, you know, it doesn't even have to be wool, you know, cotton, anything, acrylic, anything you want, any weight, three weight, more weight. Um, so I'll just show you uh, the colors that I used in case you're interested again in those colors and how much I used of each one. So uh, I did use, there are 120 yards per cake now I use not quite one cake of seven different colors this is about what I have left or skein or Hank cake Hank I'm sorry this is about what I have left of each Hank of seven different colors and it was 120 yards of seven different colors so probably about 700 yards of yarn in a five weight like I used to make it the size I did now but of course if you're going to be using a lighter weight yarn you will need more yarn than that so the red that I use is called are you red e ready that's cute cute name okay and then I used orange main squeeze the yellow it's a little bit more gold than I wanted, but that's about all they had to choose from. It's called Stay Gold. The green that I chose is called Kill Yeah. Kill Yeah. I like that name. And then the blue that I cho chose is called You Blew It. Oh, you blew it. 
I like that name too. These have really cute names. And this I chose kind of to make be kind of my indigo. Um, it's called All the Night Reasons. And then my the violet, the purple that I chose is called Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Purple Rain. I love prints. Okay, now for this yarn and the purple for this project, I used a size K, which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. If you're using a four weight, use a six millimeter. If you're using a three weight, use a uh, five and a half. And just go down, because um, you want it to have a little bit of drape, so you know, you know what I mean? So use a little bit bigger of a hook. Yeah, th yeah three weight, I'd use a five and a half. Use a two weight though. I don't know. I might use a a five or a four point seven five, something like that. You know, something like that. But for mine, for the five and a half, I did use the uh, six and a half millimeter. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on this. I'll quit talking. Let's do this. It's easy, easy as can be. If you're a beginner, you can do it. You know the basic stitches: single, double, triple. Actually, single and double. <laughs> I'm going to show you the rest. Let's go. Okay, I also do want to mention that I'm going to be showing you in a different color because I'm just showing you on a smaller scale. Uh, but I started with the I started with the purple, and then I went to indigo, and then I went to blue, and then I went to green, yellow, orange, and red. So I did the rainbow. I started the rainbow backwards. That way whenever it would be right side up the cast would be right side up and red would be at the top and then it would go down that is if you're using the rainbow if not it doesn't even matter <laughs> all right i'm going to show you on a smaller scale okay but your chain needs to be a multiple of four plus one so that means that your beginning chain needs to be divisible by four evenly and then you add one more so Okay, so if you're following along with me, you want to start out with a chain of 193 stitches. So 192 is my multiple of 4, plus I added one more to make it 193. And once you get your 193 stitches, now remember, you're going to do yours as big or as small as you want, as long as it's a multiple of 4. So once you get your uh, multiple sorry a multiple of four plus one what we're going to do for row one is we are going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook now remember we don't count the one that's on our hook so there's one and there's two we're going to go ahead and single crochet in to that stitch and then we're going to walk one single crochet in every stitch until we get to the end of the row so row one is just one single crochet every stitch. And I'll meet back up with you when you make it to the end. All right, when you make it to the end of row one, okay, you'll have a total of 192 stitches at the end of round one. Okay, well now we're gonna start row two. So row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to work a double crochet right here into this very, very first stitch. So we are going to yarn over and go right there into that very first stitch. That chain one we did does not count as anything. So it doesn't count as a stitch or anything. We're going to pretend like it's not even there. Just go ahead and double crochet right back into that first stitch. And then we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So this is how we start out every single row. It's always the same. So there we got three double crochets. Now what we're going to do is we are going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip, and in the next one, we're going to work two double crochets. So there's one. And there's two. And then we're going to chain one. And in the very next stitch, we're going to work two more 
double crochets. There's one. And there's two. So that's kind of what we're going to repeat for row one. So again, we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip. And then the next one, we're going to work two double crochets. There's one. And there's two. And then we're going to chain one. And we're going to go to the next stitch and work two double crochets again. There's one. And there's two. Again, we're going to repeat it. We're going to skip two, skip, skip, and work two doubles into the next stitch. Chain one, and in the next one, two more doubles. Just like that. So that's the pattern I'm going to repeat until I get to the end of the row. Skip two stitches, skip, skip, two doubles into the next. Chain one, two doubles into the next. Skip two, and then repeat. All right, so I'm coming to the end of round two, and I just did my last little uh, where I did two double crochets, chained one, and the next stitch I did two double crochets. And I should have five stitches that remain. So I'm going to skip the last, or skip the next two, and then the last three, I'm going to put a double crochet in each of those last three stitches. So you always end the same, and you always begin the same, no matter what row you're on. It's three doubles at the end, and three doubles at the beginning. So now at the end of row two, you should have a total of 46 of these, um, I guess we can call them shells, I would guess. Total of 46 of those. And then you'll have your three double crochets on each end. So now we're gonna start round three. So we're gonna chain one and turn our work. And we're gonna start off by putting a double crochet in each of the first three stitches. So right here, very first one gets one, a double crochet and double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work in the chain one space of this of these four double crochets here. So in this chain one space we're going to work fan. I guess we can call it a fan. We're going to go into that space and we're going to work two double crochets chain one and then two more double crochets so that's going to be our fan stitch I guess it's similar to what we did down here except for we did the entire thing into that chain one space so now we're going to jump to our next space here where there's next chain one space where there's two double crochets on each side of it and in this space we're going to do that fan again we're going to work two double crochets so there's one and two, chain one, and then we're going to work two more double crochets. And all into that chain one space. Like that. So this is going to be the repeat for round three. So we're going to jump over here to our next fan, and in that chain one space, we're going to do another fan go into that space and we're going to work two doubles chain one and two doubles now we're going to repeat working this two doubles chain one two doubles in each one of these chain one spaces from the previous round until we get to the last 
one. Go ahead and finish out the last one and I'll meet you right there. All right, I've come to the end of row three. So I did my fan there in my last stitch and I'm going, I'm, going to, I'm going to go ahead and put a double crochet into these last three stitches. Just one, two, and I'm going to switch colors right here on uh, my last stitch. So what I'm going to do is do a partial double crochet and bring in another color. So I'm going to go into it drop a loop and yarn over and go through those first two loops. I'm going to set, uh, bring in my next color, whichever color you choose to your liking and finish out that double crochet with that next color. Just like that. What I like to do is flip it over and take the tail of my new color. You can go ahead and clip off the old color. And I tie a loose knot so later on I can sew them in. And I can undo the knot and sew them in with a yarn needle. That way they just don't slip away while you're trying to work with them. Okay, so now we're going to start round four. So we're going to go ahead and start row four. And this is, we're going to chain one and turn. This is where we're going to do those puff stitches to make the kitty's legs. They're not hard. Not hard at all. Okay, so we're gonna start off like always and we're gonna put three double crochets into those very first three stitches. There's one, two, and three. Now we're going to work a puff stitch to form a kitty leg. Sounds kind of weird, I guess, but all right. Now it's not hard to do, not hard at all. We are going to be working down here into this space. So two rows down into this empty space. What we're gonna do, we're gonna work a puff. We're gonna yarn over, go into this space two rows down. Grab your yarn, go up real high, grab that yarn, pull it through and pull it up kind of high like that. We want to do that four times total. So that would be number one. And again, we're going to yarn over all the way down, reach up high, grab your yarn, pull it up tall. That's two times. Again, yarn over all the way down, grab your yarn, Pull it up tall, that's three times. One more time, we're gonna yarn over, go through, grab your yarn, pull it up all the way up like that. So that was four times total we did that. And you should have nine loops on your hook. We're gonna yarn over and go through eight of those loops like that and then we're going to yarn over and go through the remaining two loops so that's a kitty paw you made one paw now we're going to jump to our next fan stitch right here this chain one space and we're going to make a fan in it so we're going to go into that chain one space and we're going to work two doubles chain one and two more doubles Just like that. Now we're going to make another kitty paw. So we're going to do that by working down here in this empty space, two rows down. So again, we're going to start by yarning over and going right through this space way down here. Make sure you yarn over first, go into it, all, pull your hook all the way up and grab that yarn and draw up a nice long loop. You want to do that four times. So that counts as number one. Again, yarn over, go through the same space, draw up a loop, draw up big, that's two times. Again, yarn over, all the way down, same space, grab your yarn, pull it through, draw up a tall loop, three times. One more time, yarn over, go through, 
drop a loop. That's four times you'll have nine loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through eight loops. And you'll have two loops that remain. And then yarn over and go through the remaining two loops. There you got your two kitty paws made. Yay! <laughs> All right. And that's kind of what we're going to repeat now. So we're going to jump here to our next span. And in this chain one space, we're just going to make a fan. So we're going to go into and work two doubles. Chain one. And two doubles. And then we're going to make our, our set of kitty poles again. So I'll do that one more time for you. So remember, we're going to work in this spot here two rows down. So we're going to yarn over, go into that spot there, draw up a loop, pull it up tall. We need to do that four times. So that was one, two, three and four nine loops yarn over and go through eight of the loops on your hook and you'll have two that remain you just yarn over and go through the remaining two loops just like that now we're going to move over here to our next fan right here and in the chain one space we're going to do another fan so we're going to work two doubles A chain of one and two more doubles and then we're going to work another puff stitch or kitty paw whatever you want to call it down here in this space so yarn over go all the way down there in that space and draw up your loop nice and tall you gonna do that four times so that was one two three and four nine loops on your hook yarn over and go through eight and then two remain and yarn over go through remaining two so now you got your second set of kitty paws go over here to your next fan stitch right here and work a fan again in that chain one space so two doubles chain one and two more doubles so i'm going to repeat this pattern all the way until i get to the end of the row all right i've made it to the end here of row four so i'm going to show you here i just did my last fan but we have to end in a puff or a kitty paw because we don't want this kitty right here to not have a, a paw hanging over so we have to go right here in this space down here before these three double crochets and do your puff stitch don't forget that one. Sometimes it's easy to forget it. And now we're going to end by putting one double crochet in the remaining three stitches. Just like that now again you'll have four, if you're following along with me you'll still have 46 you're always gonna have 46 of these uh, fan stitches um, I should have pointed out row four that we just did row four or five and six are the repeat rows for the whole pattern so you do four five and six in one color and then you switch colors then you repeat it again and then you switch colors so that's how uh, the cats form so we're going to go ahead and start uh, row five, chain one, turn our work. Okay, so we're going to start by putting a three double crochets, one in each, one double crochet into the next three stitches. So one in this first double crochet, one into the next double crochet, and then one into the next double crochet. Now what we're going to do is we are just going to skip 
this I call it a kitty paw but it's a puff stitch <laughs> and we're gonna skip this puff stitch and we're gonna come right over here to this fan and we're going to work a fan in that chain space so two doubles chain one and two doubles again skip this kitty paw here or the puff Come over here to the next fan stitch and we're just going to work a fan stitch in that spot so two doubles chain one and two doubles and that's what we're going to repeat until we get to the end of row five just working fan stitch this row so skip this all here the puff stitch and everything and then this next fan we're going to work another fan in the chain one space so two doubles chain one and two doubles so for row five i'm just going to continue working a fan stitch in each one of the fan stitches from the previous row until i get to uh my last fan stitch and i'll meet back up with you then Okay, I'm coming to the end of row five and I just did my last fan there so I'm going to skip this last puff and in these three double crochets I'm going to work one double crochet in each of them and again you should if you're following along with me you should have a total of 46 of the fans now we're going to uh, start row six we're going to chain one and turn row six is just a repeat of row five so it's just fan stitches again but we need to start out with one double crochet in the first three stitches and then put a fan in the chain one space of the next fan so two doubles chain one and two doubles jump to the next fan put a fan so two doubles chain one and two doubles again next one in the chain one space we put a fan two doubles chain one and two doubles so for row six I'm just repeating row five it's just a fan stitch row and I'm going to repeat this until I get to the end of the row okay when you make it to the end I just did my last fan you'll have 46 fans again we're gonna go ahead and put three double crochets in our last stitch but we're gonna switch colors on that last one so there's one two go into the last one and go through the first two loops and then you want to add your new collar whatever that might be and just pull it through like that and then you can clip off the color that you were just using and I like to tie like I said the tail and the other color in kind of a loose knot so it doesn't get away from you and later whenever you sew it together you can take that knot out and sew your stuff up now all it is is a repeat of rows four five and six it's actually very very easy once you get the repeat down so row four is where we do the kitty paws or the puff stitches and then after that row five and row six are both the same they're just the fan stitch rows so for row seven i'm going to repeat row four i'm going to chain one and turn i'm going to put three double crochets into my very um, i'm sorry three Three double crochets in a row so one double crochet into the first three stitches so there's one one double into the next and one double into the next and now we have to do our kitty paw so we go two rows down not this one but this one this space right here and we work our paw so we do our puff we yarn over go into it draw off a big loop we want to do that four times that was one two three four nine loops yarn over and go through eight 
two loops remain, yarn over and go through the remaining two. And then we come over here to our next fan stitch and we work a fan into that chain one space. So there's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. And now we got to do another kitty paw. So down here in this space, two rows down, right here is where we're going to work our puff. So we're going to yarn over, go in to that space, draw up a long loop. You want to do that four times. So that was one. Two, three, four, nine loops, yarn over and go through eight, yarn over and go through the remaining two, and then you want to do your fan in the next chain one space of the next fan. So two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. So we're going to keep repeating that, repeating rows four, five, and six. Change colors at the end of every uh, every three. It's a three row repeat. So every time you repeat those three rows, you change colors, and eventually, the more rows you do, your kittens will appear. You can kind of see them starting to appear a little bit, but and the puffs are always on top of each other. So like that, the kittens are lined up in a row. So I will put some timestamps down in the comment section of the start of repeat rows four, five, and six in case you uh, need help with that. Also, don't forget YouTube does have a slow mode um, where you can watch me slowly on that down there in the, um, set, in the settings of the video. You can slow it down if you want to. Okay, so for mine, I did a total of 20 rows, but remember, do you as many as you want. If you want a big blanket, you make a big blanket. This thing would make a beautiful, beautiful blanket. You want a wrap, you make a big wrap. Or a wrap bigger than mine, make it bigger than mine. You want a little shawl or a little scarf, make it shorter than mine. However you want to do it. But I ended um, with, I'll show you what I did. I did my kitty paw row and then one row of fans. Generally the repeat would be two rows, but I just did one at the end there but you can do two if you want it's up to you but I just did that last row there I didn't completely finish out the repeat so if this was a repeat of row four then I did five I did not repeat uh, row, row six that's how I finished mine but you can do it however but that's it I hope you enjoyed my tutorial you can't tell me it didn't bring a little bit of fun and brightness today I mean kitties and rainbows <laughs> Really, what could be better? Thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you are able to follow along okay. Now remember, if you make this or anything else, anything you crochet, it doesn't have to be mine, um, anything you knit, yarn hauls, I like to look at new yarn too, come follow me on Instagram, hashtag bag of day crochet. Show me what you got going on. Um, and remember, don't forget to subscribe, hit this thumbs up button. If you like this, give it a share. I appreciate it. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day and stay safe.